Corey, I think I could collectively say for everybody, holy cow. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was pretty spectacular. I mean, how do you feel about your performance out there? Mm, I'm glad it was him and not me, you know? Uh, yeah, that, this is a game. Uh, it, uh, you know, it doesn't feel good to watch someone like, you know, crawl up and be all dazed or whatever, especially when it's Frankie Edgar, who everyone loves, including myself. Um, but rather him than me. I know you talked a big part about visualization leading into this and, you know, setting up scenarios of how things could, could end. Was that one of the scenarios? Mm, I mean, that was part of the game plan, you know. Uh, and by part of the game plan, I mean, you know, I, I figured he would try to wrestle me. Um, I think he just got really comfortable in the range that I was letting him be in. And uh, I, I kind of wanted to see what, what he would do, how fast he was, how he was going to move and stuff. And he threw a couple of hooks, and I was like, ooh, I don't think he's fast enough to, you know, be a huge threat standing. And, um, yeah, uh, and then I figured he'd probably be lowering his level or stepping in again. And uh, yeah, I, I just threw it. You know, there's not a lot of thinking going on. It's hard for me to like break it down like that. There's not a lot of thinking involved. I just jumped and it hit him on the knee. You know, maybe there's a little bit of luck involved too. Well, I think uh, you always hear stories when people, when they're, they're in the zone, when everything's happening, everything seems to slow down. You see everything as it's happening. You see things quicker. Are you starting to see things better when you're going out there and fighting, are things coming easier because you're able to maybe predict how your opponents act a little bit better or maybe you're seeing their signs, their tells a little bit better? I think I'm super comfortable in the cage um, <clears throat> and only getting more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, it's just how I go out there, man. If I go out there like ready to hurt this person and keep myself safe, which you know are the two things that I think about, um, I do good. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's that. It's got to be uh, easily probably the biggest win of your career. You know, it's tough. You, I know you wanted to celebrate immediately in the cage, but then at the same time, you're, you, you saw somebody that you uh, respect on the ground as well. But um, tell me a little bit, how good does it feel knowing that you beat a former champion out there? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's only been about 10 minutes, so I haven't <laughs> let it sink in too much. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm super pumped that I got to add Frankie to my resume, man. Like, uh, I'm really excited that I got to add it to the resume in that way. Um, and, yeah, man, when, when, when you step into the cage, you know, and you come away with a win, I, I'm just really grateful because I know how it feels like to go home a loser. And uh, being a loser sucks in this sport. And, um I wasn't going to have that happen, and, uh, you know, it's a huge motivator for me now walking into the cage. I really hate losing, and I really like winning, and, uh, and yeah, so I guess I haven't really let it sink in, but, you know, it, it will. Before you, before you walk out to the cage, what are the last things that your, your team and your coaches are telling you? What are the last images and thoughts are putting into your head before you walk out there and, and fight a guy like Frankie Edgar? Uh, they don't need to tell me too many things anymore. Um, they actually say that to me now. Uh, they're like, yeah, we know we don't need to say too many things now. You know, uh, everything that I, I, I kind of tell them that if, hey, if you want to say something, say it now. I tell them that a couple days before because that's when things start getting built up in here. Um, not, you know, two minutes before I walk into a cage where, you know, a lot is happening in my body and hormones and, you know, like a lot of is going on. Uh, that's not the time to tell someone what to do. Um, or at least for me personally, maybe it works for other people, but uh, no, um, there's no thinking involved. My coaches, I, I know how to get myself ready now. They know when I'm ready and, uh, you, you know, um, I'm having a lot of success being in that place. When you look at yourself, when you think that the very best you could be is 100%, where do you feel talent-wise and your skill-wise, where do you think you are right now on, on the level and where you can go at some point? Yeah, I mean, I don't, re you know, I don't really think I still even know that much about the sport, to be honest with you. I think the better I get, the more I realize how not great I am in certain spots, which um, is a good thing, you know, because I know that, like, comparatively, I'm much better than a lot of people. Um, but no, I, I always have a learner's brain, man. Like, I don't think I'm anywhere near 100%. Um, there's, there's so much to be learned in this sport. Uh, I, you know, I don't think it'll ever end. You know, I don't, uh, that will never end. I think I'll always feel like a beginner, especially the better I get, I'll probably just feel even more and more like a beginner.
Frank Edgar, a huge name to have on the, on the resume. Who possibly could, could even be next for you? I mean, who makes sense next after a win like this? It's got to be the winner, Jan and Sterling, right? Like, um, I heard Jan do an interview talking about how he wants to fight TJ after, you know? And TJ is coming off some of the most serious PEDs that you can do in the sport. Uh, that seems like, you know, that, that seems disrespectful to the sport. And, you know, I've been working. I've been working these last two years. I'm ready for the belt. I think I'm better than Jan. Uh, so if he wins, I want Jan. Same with Sterling, too, though, you know? Like, I'm a different animal. You guys have seen in the last two fights, I'm a different animal since, since that fight with Sterling. I'm grateful that he got to teach me a lesson. But uh, the next time we fight, I'm going to hurt, I'm gonna hurt Al Jermaine. And uh, I want to fight the winner of that fight in, in July. <clears throat> or whenever they want, really. Um, but no, nah, man, I, I got to be next for the title. This whole, like, there's no one else even in the conversation, I don't think, especially after a performance like that. Congrats on the win. Thank you. That's it.